this video of police breaking up a fight after a party over at Potawatomi. Fox 6 is Brett Lemoyne live with how a police officer was actually hurt during this arrest. It was caught on video track. Yeah, that's right, Ben. This happened in February, and it was early in the morning when police arrived. They say when a woman tried to get away, she ended up running over an officer's foot. Chaos. <laughs> Outside the casino. Got about 10 seconds to get in the car, otherwise you're arrested. Milwaukee police arrived on February 28th to a group of women fighting outside Potawatomi Casino Hotel. A security guard told officers they escorted the women off the property, but they refused to leave. Investigators said they were all under 21 years old at the time when one woman was put in the back of a squad. Stay away from the car! You don't open up the car! Another woman tried to open the door to let her out. Milwaukee police said two 20-year-old women were arrested and cited. Officers told the remaining women in the group to go home. Video shows they didn't listen. Somebody go after that car. He took off. He didn't hit our car. She just went over my foot. An MPD officer was hurt and their squad hit. Get out of the car now! When an SUV with people from the group returned to the hotel, police tried to get them out, but the driver took off down Canal Street. I bust open the window. Cover me, cover me. A short chase led the driver of the SUV back to the hotel. MPD said they were also able to arrest and ticket that 20-year-old woman who was clearly seen driving moments earlier, but was found in the back seat. You were driving. You were driving. Relax. A Potawatomi spokesperson told us in February the officer was checked by the Milwaukee Fire Department and said he was fine. While this group wasn't old enough to gamble inside, outside video shows the odds were never in their favor. The driver's not taking into custody as we speak. Now we do have the name of one of the women who was arrested back in February and we reached out to the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. A spokeswoman there tells us no criminal charges were ever filed for that individual and she said without any other names, uh, they are unable to search their system to see if there were any criminal charges filed against anyone else involved. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett LeMoyne, Fox 6 News.